Now shouting for change and urging to stop the hate against the Asian community. Crowds gathering in downtown Sacramento today, many frustrated and angry with hate crimes they've seen in their own communities and also across the country. But today's protests were about more than anger. They want change. The sounds of solidarity from a community that's had enough. A lot of pain, frustration, hurt, and fear. Everybody in the Asian community is just furious. Like, uh, we've been through this for so long. Like Yai Chin Yang wants to set an example for his family, making sure the next generation doesn't experience the hate he's seen. And we just feel so hurt, and uh, he's only 11 months old, and we're raising the next generation that uh, could possibly be hated. Whatever we have endured, we don't want him to, to have the same issue. And uh, it's so important that we raise our next generation with anti-racist. Many out here fueled by this week's horror in Atlanta. Eight people killed at spas, six of them Asian women. And it's just not fair. Call it for what it is and call it as a hate crime because it's so obvious. Jamie Jun furious after officials stopped short of calling the Atlanta shootings hate crimes. Improve your hate crime laws if it doesn't technically constitute as one. And we have to fight for that. And I hope that we all advocate for that together. Crimes spurred by division now bringing communities together. <laughs> People of multiple backgrounds and of all ages standing under one cause. You know, I know there's been a lot of like just anger and frustration around what's been happening and people are tired of it. Hoping to pave a better path for generations to come. This kind of behavior, regardless toward any race, is not going to be to uh, tolerated. Is we going to clean this out from this beautiful country. Now, people rallying today encourage people to do more to show their support. They're asking people to support their local Asian-run businesses and to participate in future rallies.